Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat, and I try. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can easily get uniform skin color or skin tones for your images in Photoshop. And if at all this is what you have always wanted, I'd request that you hit the like button on this video and also don't forget to subscribe on this channel because it is going to help the video perform better and also help the channel grow in the long run. So make sure to hit the like button on this video. So this is the image you're going to be using for purposes of this tutorial and in order to get uniform skin tones we want first of all ensure that we are, are copying the exact colors that belong within the skin of our subjects or of our models so in order to do that we're just going to come to the adjustments right here and create a new empty layer and it is on this new empty layer that we're going to be copying and painting or sampling colors from the highlights the midtones and the shadows within the image so in order to do that just come and right click and get your brush tool and make sure the hardness is all the way to 100 percent so with that done also come and first of all get the eyedropper tool and make sure the sample size is five by five average so by this it means that the brush is going to be sampling colors in a more natural and more accurate way so after doing that you can come back and click on the brush and with the brush tool selected remember we are selected on our empty layer that we created before so you're just going to zoom into our image by using ctrl or command plus on the keyboard and we're just going to randomly sample or choose or select skin from the highlights the midtones and the shadows so in order to do this we're just going to come and first of all in order to sample you hold down the option or the alternate key on the keyboard so option is for mac and alternate is for windows so you hold it down and as soon as you hold it down you can see that the icon turns into a color picker tool or the eyedropper tool so make sure you hold it down and simply left click to sample and soon as as soon as you click on that area that has a highlight you can notice that the color on these two swatches is going to be that area that you have sampled so after sampling simply increase on the size of your brush up to around that and simply dab once so this is for the brightest areas within the skin tone and we're going to do the same for the mid tones or the mid color for the skin tone we're just going to do the same hold and option or alternate key on the keyboard and you're just going to simply left click to choose a midpoint or a midtone and you're just going to put that or dab once by left click and painting over remember we are painting on our empty layer right here so i'm just going to do the same for the shadows simply hold an option or alternate and simply left click and simply paint so this is going to be the shadows the midtones and the highlights for the skin tone so after we have done that we're just going to map these colors within the skin of the model so in order to do this i already mentioned that we are just going to be mapping and in order to map you're going to be using the gradient map option within photoshop so after doing this you're just going to come to the background layer and make sure it is selected and come to the adjustments and simply select the gradient map option so as soon as you click on that it's going to open up the properties within the gradient map so in order to use this tool quite better make sure that the gradient layer mask is not selected and you have selected the gradient icon so make sure you click on the gradient icon itself and in order to proceed in order to map the colors within or into the skin of the model you're just going to click on these properties and it's going to open up the gradient editor window within photoshop so remember we have first of all selected the gradient icon and not the layer mask so if i told you select the layer mask you're not going to be able to map the colors within the skin so always make sure you select the gradient icon and not the gradient layer mask icon so in order to proceed or to map this you can see the left hand handle is going to be for our shadows the mid one we're going to, we are going to create one in the middle and this one is going to be the brightest or the highlights of the skin tone so just going to simply 
left click on this handle and simply left click once on the color option and with this simply come to the color and simply left click on that color and you can see it has automatically mapped the shadow area or the darkest color within the color picker tool and simply click on ok and you're going to come and simply make a point right in the middle and on this point simply with this point made just come back and click on the color icon and simply click on the mid or the mid tone color or the mid mid tone color rather within the skin and you're just going to come and click ok and you're going to do the same for our brightest color which is the highlight so i'm just going to come click on this handle and come to color left click on it and simply come back and with the eyedropper tool simply left click on the brightest area within the skin tone and come and simply click on okay so right now we are done mapping the colors within the skin tone but we as well want this to have a little bit more of contrast within the darkest areas and you don't want it to look pale so in order to have that tiny bit of contrast added within the image you are going to come and simply left click on the darkest color and drag it up a little bit so that this can enter towards the mid-tones and we have more contrast within the darkest areas of the skin tone so after we have done all this we're just going to come and simply click on ok so right now we can close this gradient taskbar so we are just going to come and we choose a layer mask that is going to embed color within our skin tone area so that what is going to embed color within the skin tone is going to be a blend mode known as color itself so just going to come to the blend mode and change it from normal so some people prefer to use soft light but for this case we're just going to come all the way to color so just come and select color so right now you can see that this Skin doesn't look nice at all so in order to embed this better into the skin area just going to come and first of all hide these colors from the image and they're just going to come straight to our gradient map layer mask so make sure the layer mask is selected this white layer mask and they're going to simply press ctrl or command i on the keyboard and that is going to hide the gradient color from affecting the overall image and with this done just come back to your brushes and make sure this time around the hardness is all the way to zero percent meaning the brush is soft and now we are going to make sure to have black and white on these two color swatches so make sure you use x on the keyboard to switch between black and white or you can reset if at all you have any other colors within these boxes by clicking or left clicking on these two tiny boxes so make sure white is the foreground color remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide that is why the effect was hidden behind this black mask so we want to reveal the color grading using a white brush and that brush is going to be revealing what is hidden behind the black mask so i'm just going to simply come and start painting and in order to see this effect quite well or even better you can use the slash key on the keyboard and you can see that this is going to help you see where you're painting but if at all that is confusing you can as well do away without it and just come and paint as you're looking at this layer mask right here so i'm just going to only be painting on uh, the skin area and you can see as i am painting this is going to make the skin look a little bit better on the uniform side so i'll be painting on only the skin it's going to make the skin look better so you have to keep away from painting in the hair area so if i told you made a mistake while you're painting i'm going to be showing you how you can eliminate uh, that mistake for example we have painted in the hair area so we don't want the hair to be affected by uh, this color process or if i told you paint within the eyes so in order to eliminate the color from uh, for example the hair or even the eyes you can switch the brush back to black so make sure black is on the foreground color and with that done you can just come and paint away the color from the eyes or even you can eliminate it from the eyebrows so you can keep on reducing on the sizes of your brush tool 
in order to correct uh, the color from affecting specific areas within the image. So I'll just come and I will just eliminate the color from those areas. So when you feel like you're done or when you feel like the skin is now looking better or even uniform. So let me just remove it from the lipstick because I don't want to alter the original color within uh, the makeup. So let me just eliminate it from these other areas. So I'm basically painting out the extras. So you can see a quick before and after for just the uniformity or the unifying of the skin tone. So when you feel like this is okay for your liking, you can stop right here. Or you can, if at all you feel like you have slightly overdone this process, just come to the opacity and simply drop down the opacity for the unifying or the uniformity of the skin tone. So that's the before, after, before, after. And now when you feel like you want to add a little bit of contrast to the image, you can simply first of all delete this because right now we no longer need it. And you come and add contrast within the skin area by coming and creating a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and simply create a clipping mask. So by clipping mask, I mean every adjustment we are going to be making within the contrast is only going to be affecting the area where we painted on the skin. So we're just going to come through the contrast and simply pump up the contrast. Just like that. And you can see that this is going to add more definition and make the skin stand out or even look better. So you can see an overall before and after for the unifying of the skin tone. So this is the image before, after, before, after. You can see how nice and even the skin tone has gotten to be or to look. So this is how you can create uniform skin tone within Photoshop. And if I told you I've loved this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If I told you I've been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you near more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.